Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are trying to destroy my FPS but first we've got to make the foundations for that and to do that we are doing our biggest project yet and that is building a whole wall around this town and another wall around that. It's going to be a big thing. Let's just get straight into it. So we started doing this in the last episode and I realized it's going to take a very, very long time. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to get some robots because they work 24 hours. They just power through a lot of stuff and also they can help us get a lot more materials and all that jazz. So what are we going to do in this episode? We are going to go over here and we are going to start making a little town for robots. Well, robot production. Because I want to get a working force of about 10 robots. That way we can move them around the whole map and they can start building stuff without having beaver intervention. So, first task of this episode is to get over here. Now, we've got quite a challenge. We've got these trees here and we've got quite a long way to go. So the distance isn't too much of a problem. The problem is this bad boy. Now I would love to be able to make a little bridge all the way across here, but because of this, we can't. So we've got two things we can do. We can get down there and just cut them. That is one way. Or we can go around it and come out here and sort of make like a temporary way around it. Now I think that might be the easiest solution because all we would need to do is make some ladders here, make some ladders here, a bridge here. We'll most likely need to make a little district here to get up here and then we'll get over there and start colonizing it. Then there comes the second problem, irrigation. As you can see, it's dry. It's super dry. It's a, it's a desert out here. You can see all the cracks in the soil. There is no water anywhere. And the closest water is here. So in order for us to make this into a nice little town, we're going to need it to be irrigated because we're going to need some trees for engines and all that stuff. So we've got to irrigate it. And now we can make a distribution center over here and send the resources that is also a possibility which we might look into but first and foremost let's just get over there okay so if we we pull if we delete this uh, i'm thinking i'm gonna pause it for now so we can just sort of plan this out uh is that the right way no it's not I don't think you need to have it a certain way, but I like to, because why not? All right, there we go. Now, what is Parfin looking like? Parfin is not looking too bad. And I believe the ladder Parfin is quite efficient. We can make a little bridge along here. Look at that, perfect. That's going to need metal. Okay, we've got metal. I'm not too fast because down here, as you can see, I've got loads of scrap. We can, we can, we can survive. We've got metal for days. All right, let's do that. So hopefully that should be able to get them across here. Then the next plan is to get them down here. And we'll think about what we need here. So we most probably, now we most probably need to make stairs because they can't build ladders up three higher than what they are. So they can only build up by two. On the third one, they need some sort of support to get up there. So if we do something like this, we'll see how high this goes. Well, that doesn't work, does it? that 
in that. Um, they don't really get the point that I want to get it to. Now, I do want to try something. If I do something like this. And put this bad boy here. No, that won't work. That won't work. Forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. Okay, so I've done something like this. Now, they can go up here. They can go up these two ladders to build all of this. And then they can build up here, I hope. Never used that method before. Let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. And we've got two ladders here. And then they can finally get into this area. And they've got a lot of metal. And they've got a resource that constantly generates metal. So now let's quickly make a basic, extremely basic town to help build all this out. We can actually unpause it now because I'm happy with that design. And I kind of do want to see how far they can get to. I doubt, I very much doubt they can get up here. So let's start getting this town district down. So we'll put it somewhere there. We'll get a house of eight i don't even think we need eight to be honest with you i think four is enough so we'll put a house of five we'll put a drop off center wherever that may be right there and we'll put logs water food oh that's a bit much i think two is always a safe bet because you can deal with one with logs and uh, planks and the other one with food and water. All right, they can actually get their own food, but, uh, water, but that's fine. What else do they need? Let's take a look over here. Am I missing anything? Not really. I think that is pretty much a okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then we just need to make, we need to cut this off, make a new district and we'll need to cut it off here somewhere. So we can most of you cut it off right there for now. Like so, then they can go and do their stuff in there. Then we need to, I need to get rid of these beavers now because I don't need them here. They're not doing anything. It's a waste of space. Let's set you back to zero. And they can leave. In fact, let's manually get rid of them. Where did I just send them? <laughs> I just sent them in here, didn't I? Of course I did. Now they're just going to sit there and do nothing. All right, let's change that. There you go. So now we have more beavers there. That's perfect. I should actually, I completely forgot. I should actually get a distribution center here and get all this scrap metal somewhere. But we can do that in a bit once we realize where we want it to go. Because we might want it to go straight over here. Who knows? Right, so far, Parfin is looking fine. I'm going to let them finish that and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, and there we go. We are all up and running. We've got four workers here. I think that's really all we need, to be fair. They've got a bit of food. They've got a bit of water. That should last them until the next delivery. So while they sort of focus on that, we're going to focus on planning this bad boy out. Now I am going to try and delete all these trees, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the pathing trick to get rid of all the small ones. So if you don't know, if you've got small trees like this, you can just press that and it disappears and you can just delete the pathing. So I am going to quickly do all of that. Okay. With all the small trees gone, it's a little bit cleaner already. So how are we going to make this place? Now we will need beavers here at first, but once we start getting robots down it should be fine to get the beavers away from this area now we are going to need one of these bad boys but that is going to be a low priority for now we're going to put that down because that's going to need gears that's going to need treated planks and we're not making any of that here so we do need to make that here so let's start planning that bad boy so we're going to have an engine I think we may need two engines in this area. I think we may need to put it like that, couldn't I? 
Uh, no, 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 that's not a nice place. Let's bung it. Let's put it over here somewhere. We'll put it like that. It should give it enough space behind it to make power come around. And then we need to get our own little area. Now, I want this to be pretty much self-contained in terms of materials. When it comes to food and water, I don't mind uh, delivering it. But I've, other than that, we need to be a bit more self-contained. So we're going to need a gears workshop. We're going to need a treated planks workshop with pine resin. We're going to need a plank workshop. And we're going to need a smelter. So there's still quite a few things put down. So if we work out the power cost, that's already 370. So 420 altogether here. And then if we add a smelter, that's 620. That's already a lot. Do we need anything else? Apart from the robot stuff, because that's going to cost power as well. We need 620. So this is just, this is going to be enough for producing the materials that we need. So yeah, let's, let's focus on that for now. So, okay. I might actually need to put one more here, but once we get rid of all of this, we'll have a bit more space to play with. So let's get this down here. Where am I going to pull it? Now, I may need a few of these because it's going to need to provide planks by itself. What does this need? Uh, where's the recipes? Doesn't say there. So it takes... Oh, dynamite. Oh, ooh, we're not going to make that here. No. So it takes a treated plank and it takes a gear. All right. Do we need to make planks? We don't. I don't think we do unless we're making gears and that. So this makes uh, one, uh, two every three hours, right? That uses one every three hours. That uses one every three hours. So technically, technically, one of these can supply both of this with all the resources it needs. So yeah, we only need one. Lovely. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Easy maths right there. So that's the little area for that. Now we just need to put a smelter, which is going to throw a spanner in the works. Like so. Now we might move that forward just to create a bit more space because we are kind of tight for space here. And this is kind of a temporary thing because eventually I want it in my little ring. So we don't need to worry about that. We can actually delete this place later on. All right, let's get the metal. That is looking A-OK -okay with me. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put orange because why not? It's robot territory. That does not look orange. <laughs> is it me or does that not look orange? That's wood. This is the one I want. Okay, cool. All right, so now we have our orange paths. All is okay in the world. We need to put power. Now that doesn't go there, does it? It can only go there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We're going to do something like this. Bung this here. And we'll bung that there. Now there's going to be more power stations on the side there, so we're going to leave that the way it is. I should actually put a dynamite here. Oh, we're also going to need a digger. Oh, there's so many things we need to put here. But that's fine. We've got a bit of space up here we can play with. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put dynamite along here and we'll get the power coming in over there. We just need to put that like this and put another connector here. Like so. Okay, cool. Happy days. I am happy with that. How are they getting on down here? Not too bad, to be honest. They're doing okay. All right, so that's the little bit of production that we need there. We're gonna need a town 
center because this is going to be the whole district. I'm trying to get as compact as possible because I don't want to use up too much space. And then we need some of this. We're going to need storage as well, especially for scrap metal. Can I put all the storages here? So we're going to need planks, gears, treated planks, scrap metal, and metal most likely. We can mostly put that right there once we get rid of all of that. So that's absolutely fine. What else do we need? <laughs> There's a lot of things. A lot of things. Now, when it comes down to the robot stuff, we'll do that a bit later on. First of all, it's just getting resources working and getting what we need done. Okay, we're going to need irrigation. So let's get a levy out here. And I think I want to kind of pull it in the middle as much as I possibly can. So I think here it will be good. We'll get a water dump going like that and we'll get a stairway. Connect all of that. And then that can go like that and like that. Now, the reason why I want to put it in the middle, because I want to get as many uh, things irrigated as possible. We're going to mostly make loads of trees here. So we're going to need a forester. That is going to provide us with the resources we need to make the resources. And I think that is going to be it for now. I'm sure I'll think of something as we go along. So I'm going to let them deal with that hopefully we can get it done pretty fast so i'll see you guys in a sec and just like that we are up and running we just gotta make the robot facilities how easy is that and it looks pretty cool i like how there's like this little patch of green in this uh surrounding brown area i think it looks pretty cool it's like a little isolated town isn't it i actually like the design i really like the design <laughs> but um okay so we only got a few more uh treated planks to be made they're getting made as we speak i've got zero but they are getting made we've got this our own little area of um a confined area to make resources right so we've got the maple syrup here or the pine resin sorry not maple syrup we've got the maple trees here to make the planks we've got the planks here to make the cogs and the treated planks and we've even got a smelter if we need it so what we need to do now is figure out a small little production for robots and it, it needs, it's just small it just doesn't need to be that big because we only want a small workforce so where are robots and we've got to figure out what we need so we are going to need science if if we want to boost them now this is a control tower it takes three science per hour this is a number cruncher that makes 10 science per hour. So that can theoretically do 3.1 of these, right? Or something like that, or 3.3. So that's pretty good. We're not going to make the number cruncher now because I don't think I need to boost them at the moment. We've got 7.5k. So we could actually just use that if we need to. But first, let's think about this bad boy. Now we need three of these. If I remember correctly, three, one of each part, one building for each part can power or supply enough resources for two bot assemblers. Now we only need really one bot assembler, but we're still going to make one of each of these. So it is quite uh, extensive in the terms of resources that we're going to be using right now. And we're going to constantly be using metal. So we need to keep an eye on that as well. I do have some metal here and I do have or well, scrap metal and I do have some metal blocks there. We're also going to need a charging station, which is going to take 50 horsepower. So altogether, that is a lot of horsepower. <laughs> that is actually a lot of horsepower. So how are we going to do this? 
we mostly need to run. So is, if this is 450 for three of these, 250, which is 700, 750 for just this. We're, use, we're using at the moment, and we're going to be using all of these, right? Apart from this bad boy, because we won't need treated planks after, I don't believe. In fact, in fact, I'm wrong. We'll need it for this recipe. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be fun. So we're going to need all of these running at the same time. Now, I wish it showed the power consumption here, like in the info section, rather than me having to click through here. So we've got a 750 for just a bot assembly section. And for the production of all of this, we have a 200, 120, which is 320, 370. And what else are we looking at this one? Well, 370, which is 420, 620. So 750 and 620 is like, 1320 right if my maths is correct which is mostly isn't so that's pretty much four engines <laughs> oh man oh man if we do three that's 1200 it just wouldn't be enough unless we reduce the production uh the efficiency should i say so productivity that's the word that i'm looking for and that means we'll get a slower amount of bots, but we will get bots. Now, will that be enough robots for us? We're about to find out because I don't really want to make four engines. So we're going to make one more here. And I need to then move this over a bit. Like so. We're also going to start looking at how we're going to put this together. So let's go on to here. Let's get a bot factory. So we need three of these bad boys. We could pull it here. Like so. That will supply one bot assembly. And then we'll have a bot charging station. Now, I just realized something. <laughs> How many bots can use a charging station? So it says one visitor, but how can that supply enough charge for multiple bots? Or is it one charging station per bot? You know what? We're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Oh, this is fun. This is actually fun. I love this part of the game. I love looking at what we can do and how we can achieve it. All right. So we'll do something like that. And I just realized I need to power this, don't I? Okay. So we're not going to do something like that. That is going to actually get deleted. This is all going to be powered behind here. So we need to get this up and running. And we literally just need to put one like that, right? Because that will charge all of them lovely so now we need to think about do we just do it easily and just do the most simplest option which is pretty much like that and then we'll put a charging station uh no gotta remember that's actually we could do that we could do that why not let's do that and let's see if we can actually con connect it yeah, yeah, why not? That that seems okay to me. You know, I'm actually going to build this first because they're not going to be able to reach that at some point. Let's pause this. And let's build these ones as well because they're not going to be able to reach them eventually. So how how is this getting along? It's getting along okay. Getting along okay. There's no planks. <laughs> Everyone's too injured to do it. So they will eventually get it done. So I'm going to let them get that done. And I'll see you guys in a sec. And there you have it. Our lovely little robot town. Ready 
and waiting to start making some robots. Now, I forgot how we unlock the ability to unlock robots for uh, professions, right? I believe it happens when we make our first robot. So yeah, we'd have to do that and then we can start unlocking the ability for robots to do all the resources, which will help this town immensely. In fact, it might be able to run solely on robots. But guys, that will be for the next episode. We in, we're going to build some robots in the next episode and see what we can do. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing week. Peace.